Here's a closer look at Facebook Squared, a 24-hour hackathon project that I did with Jason Wright in the summer of 2012 at Facebook's New York City headquarters for a 24-hour hackathon. Basically, we got the largest book that we could find in Barnes & Noble, hollowed it out, and in the course of 24 hours, filled it up with electronics, wrote a Python script, and literally put Facebook into a book. So this is what it looks like. You open it up, and a limit switch disengages, which communicates back to the computer and tells it that the book is now active and it wants information. Inside of here, we have an Arduino Omega, an XB mounted on an XB shield, the limit switch detects when the book is open, a button for liking comments and posts, a button for returning to the home page, three buttons for interacting with our three LCDs, an accelerometer for detecting page turns, four potentiometers for controlling the contrast of each of the screens, a logic level converter for a graphical LCD, a graphical LCD which is from an old Nokia cell phone, a 16x2 backlit LCD display for displaying titles, names, etc., and three 16x4 LCDs as well. On the computer end, we're running a Python script. Jason wrote a Python script that connects up to the Facebook API, logs you into your Facebook account, and grabs all your news feed, feed data and is able to interact with it. It, it talks to this over an XB connection uh, that's plugged into the computer via USB. Once the book is opened, it sends a command to the computer telling it hello uh, and asks for the latest newsfeed information. So we can see that I have he loaded here my latest newsfeed news feed information. Uh, there is information from, there's a post from the meta picture, a post from my friend Ujiji, and a post from Engadget that's showing up as the three most recent things on my newsfeed. We can also see that the graphical LCD shows the newsfeed icon. If I want to look at more of these, or if I want to scroll through my newsfeed, the accelerometer allows me to page through posts in my newsfeed. If I make a page turn action, the accelerometer detects that, and it goes to the next few items in my newsfeed. On the Python end, we can see that it's gone up to the, it, uh, gone through the last data and recovered it and pulled it in and loaded up onto the LCD screens over the XB connection. So here we can see that the middle post is from Futurama. I really like Futurama, so I'm going to click to see more of that post. Okay, and so it'll load up the rest of that post, splitting it up intelligently over the three LCD displays and we can see that the post has 304 likes. We have special characters programmed into the LCD displays. Uh, one of them, for example, is the like icon. If I like this post, I can click the black button here, which is a dedicated like button, and we can see that it increases to 305 because I just liked it. That also pushes up to your Facebook account online and updates your number of likes. I can unlike the post by clicking the black button again, and we can see that the number of accounts decreases. We can also see that the graphical LCD is showing Bender's face, the character from Futurama, which is the icon for this profile. By hitting the red button, I can go back to my main newsfeed, uh, a call will be made to the Facebook API, and I'll download the most recent information. We can see that since the last time we were on the newsfeed, another friend of mine, Andrew, has made a post. So that's basically the system in a nutshell. It allows you to read posts from online in a book. It's completely wireless, battery powered. Uh, it interacts through a Python script on your computer that grabs all data, and the only way that you can get data back up online is by liking posts. So it's mostly a one-way means of communication, trying to stick with the book theme. It's obviously very messy, but this was a 24-hour hackathon project. At the end of the hackathon, they gave out awards. Our project was so creative, and they had never seen anything like it before, so they actually had to make up a new award category for us. So we got the best usage of a book award. Uh, Jason and I both run one Roku... Uh, TV streaming devices. The event was a ton of fun and you should definitely watch the other video of us presenting it and check out all the pictures I have online of the event on Flickr uh, and on my Facebook page. Obviously all the source code for this, schematics, etc. Uh, we've published all of it. It's on mine and Jason's GitHub account. Uh, you'll also be able to find it on my website and a link to it from this YouTube video. Okay, I hope you guys enjoyed my 24-hour hackathon project that I did with Jason Wright. Definitely go check out Jason's website too, jpwright.net and you can find me at jeremyblum.com.